Hello everyone welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today we will be discussing about blob storage versus azure data lake storage azure storage account storage account and why are we interested in storage account right now because storage account is going to go ahead and help you save the non relational database it's going to act as your non relational database right now storage accounts you have two types of storage account when it comes to azure number 1 is the blob storage account and number 2 is adls gen2 it stands for azure data lake storage account so these are the two storage accounts that you can create when it comes to azure okay so what is the difference between the two of them so the first okay first let me let me talk about the similarity first thing if i had to define a storage account i can call it as a combination of compute and storage of course primary primary uh, uh, idea of using a storage account you know let's say okay let's keep it as compute because we are not using it in combination with anything else it's just the storage accounts that we are talking about just the blob storage account or the adls gen2 storage account that we are talking about so it's going to be just the storage container for you right now i have two types of storage accounts that i can see imagine that you're saving your semi structured or unstructured data inside this all right now uh, when i talk about a blob storage account it consists of a container okay and i can go ahead and save my files inside this container the same container is available for me in my adls gen2 storage account as well okay and these containers are basically going to be holding my files similarly i have message queues over here and i also have message queues here also what are message queues so you know when the kind of data that you are actually saving is in the form of messages you know there is a, there is a recipient is sending a message to and fro between some party in that case you would save it as message queues right so it's going it's specifically designed in order to hold the data which is generated in the form of a request response or any messages as such okay the next component is azure tables and we have the same component over here also so when your data is in the form of key value format remember the json bison format that we took, spoke about when your data is in the form of key value pairs you can go ahead and trust in the azure tables format to go ahead and save your data and the final one or the final component that we have is the file share so let's say you want to go ahead and uh, uh, map the hard drive of your pc to cloud you know basically you're looking forward to transfer all the data to cloud you can do it on file share now if everything is same then what is the difference right as you see over here currently i have mentioned four components of each of the storage account and as per me all of them are same container is there in both of them message queues are there in both of them azure tables are there in both of them and then this file share also then what is the difference why do we have two first first thing why do we have two over here so the difference is the fact that uh, let me just put this down at, at the bottom so you can see a better view
when it comes to blob storage over here you cannot go ahead and have a hierarchy it is a flat file storage what do i what do i mean by flat file storage or no hierarchy see this is one of the uh, folders that i have let's say i will go into okay now just take some random okay courseware okay now i have this in the form of a hierarchy right see my documents is there inside that i have courseware and inside that i have my uh, courses right and inside each i have further details right so if i have to go ahead and maintain this as a single flat file imagine how it would look like because there are so many courses over here and all the data inside all these courses will end up into just one file which is not the correct approach right so if if you are in a scenario where it's okay to have it like that you just have one container and you're saving all your files inside that container that's fine then you can go with a blob storage account but if that is not the scenario if you definitely need a hierarchy let me put that down if you definitely are in need of a hierarchical file system you cannot let go okay that is the major difference between your blob storage account and your adls gen2 storage account okay i hope it is clear hey thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video i have something special to share if you loved our content today then you are absolutely going to adore what's coming next we have a free class that's absolutely free and the best part is it's available for everyone this class goes in depth into the topics we touched on today offering you detailed insights comprehensive explanations and even some exclusive content that wasn't covered in this video all you have to do is just click on the link in the description below and you will be redirected to a page like this or if you are just starting out just type k2anacademy.com/dp20302 now all the information inside the class that we'll be covering is listed here like the details and our few certified trainees and their achievements and a note from our very own Atul Kumar now for registering for the class all you have to do is just select an event date enter your name your email your phone number and click yes save my seat you will be redirected to a thank you page and you can add this session to your google calendar or your apple calendar you can also save this link and you can join the webinar by clicking the link here i promise this is something you don't want to miss so go ahead click on that link and step into a world where learning knows no boundaries till then keep enjoying i'll see you in the next video